Former Emir of Kano Mohammed Sanusi II and Lagos-based lawyer Femi Falano have argued in favor of restructuring of the country. They spoke at the Ikiti State University, Ado Ikiti, during the 24th Convocation Lecture of the institution where they asked Nigerians to resist anyone against the restructuring agitation. Our correspondent Olasu Komi fouls in the story. Both speakers amplify their voices that restructuring should rather be seen as a bid for equitable distribution of wealth and resources between the federal and state governments and building of strong systems through strong moral values. Guest lecturer Femi Falano, SAN, who delivered the lecture titled Restructuring and the Liberation of Nigeria, said defects in the federal system forms the legitimate demand for urgent restructuring in order to liberate the people. It said the way forward is that the struggle for restructuring requires building a peaceful and united Nigeria rooted in social justice, equity, and genuine freedom. And my position, therefore, is that our governors must put on their thinking caps and challenge Abuja. Nobody is going to give you your freedom. Restructuring is about freedom. And unless you fight the authorities in Abuja, nobody is going to give you restructuring. Particularly, the APC government put restructuring in their manifesto and program. But upon getting to power, President Buhari says no. And Buhari is not alone. President Vasanjo was there for eight years. Jonathan for five years. Here I draw about two years. The North has produced two presidents. The South, two, between 19 and now. None of those presidents has ever, while in power, believed in instruction. It's when they're out of power that they start talking about instruction. The university chancellor, the 14th Emir of Kanu, Muhammad Sanusi II, in his remarks said, there is a difference between restructuring, secession, division, and civil war. He noted that some are using ethnic profiling to divide the country. State of origin. The constitution goes to the extent of saying there must be a minister from every state in the federation. That is all. Whether these ministers are competent or idiots, <laughs> Whether they went to school or did not go to school, wow. it doesn't matter. They can all be men in their seventies, no woman. The youth do not have to be represented. In other words, our concept of diversity is so limited. The EKSU Vice Chancellor Professor Edward Olani Pekun, earlier in his welcome address said the Nigerian nation, perhaps because of the colonial mood of evolution, still remains contentious. In view of the prevailing developments in the country, and as part of our contributions towards nation building, the topic for this year's convergent lecture has been carefully chosen, such that the recommendations therein will be able to hopefully address fundamental issues urgently desiring a collective interrogation as a nation. The lecture has well advertised, it's titled Restructuring and the Struggle for the Liberation of Nigeria. As this debate is resuscitated, it is only expected that its sustenance is largely dependent on fairness and equity from all parts of the country.